tell him. Tell him. Finally, the agent just screamed, I've come back to cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ray. Ray. Yeah. What's the name of that hey, YouTube channel? Of yours again. You talking about Agents of Screen? Yeah, that's it. Well, I sure like to see that place and you get it all up and running and pretty looking. Yeah, me too, Ray. Me too. I like to see that rolling too. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though. You should have been there last night. Huh. What you talking about that last night? Just like I said last night, we were reviewing the maddest movie. It was. Hey! Ain't no trying to hear that live at the cinema bullshit. Fuck, shut up! You got to shut up! You got to shut up! You always trying to say something at the wrong time. Finish and do whatever you got to do. Go, go, go on, sleep. Let, let us Man, have our fun. Sleep. Go ahead there, Ray. Finish telling us about that. Go, Ray, go, Ray. Tell me some more. Go ahead, Ray. Tell you, Ray. Continue, Ray. As I was saying, Last night was mad fun, but you will never guess whose movie we reviewed today. Who gonna do that, Ray? Who that, man? Who? Who? Who that, Ray? Just guess. Welcome to Agents of Screen, the first and only place for movie reviews live at the cinema. I am your boy Miles and I'm joined by my fellow agent and friend, Agent Adam. Oh, friend, I like that. And we're back. We are back. It's been a minute. It has been it has a been minute. It's been a very long minute. Oh my it gosh. Is. And of course, as we said, live at the cinema, we have just seen the much anticipated, much talked about, much delayed Christopher Nolan epic, mm. Tenant. Be but before we get started though, yeah. can you hear that? Can you hear that? It's something. What is it? I think it's the dozens and dozens of our fans. You, you smell that? I can smell Someone's it. Someone's cooking something. What, what are they cooking? Yeah. Tell them. Tell them. Finally, the agent just screamed, I've come back to cinema. <laughs> <laughs> So as always in our reviews, we'll give our first impressions, what we liked, what we didn't like. This is going to be spoiler free, by the way. And of course, at the end, we are going to give our score out of 10. Adam, I want you to finish the sentence for me. Okay. As your first okay. impression, okay. Tenant is... The most confusing movie I've ever seen in my life. Ross. You've had time to think about, are you sure you want to stand by that statement? I, I stand by that statement. I've been thinking about what I've seen. Like, Matrix makes sense. This film makes zero sense. I'm okay. so, I'm still lost and confused. The fact that I've got to get this off my chest now, yeah? Dude. The fact that, you know, we've been, been through lockdown, no cinema for so long, they put all these movies back, and this is what I come back to. I'm upset. Okay. I'm upset, man. I'm going to play devil's advocate for just a minute. Are you one of those people that gets confused easily by a film? Did you understand Inception? Did you understand <laughs> Interstellar? You know, these are other Christopher yeah. Nolan films. Yeah. So. I understood those movies. Okay. I was okay with those films. Fair enough. This film, from the get-go, I was like, wait, what? And it never changed. It never changed. You know what this movie needed to be? This is all first impression, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so, oh, I know, okay, I'm done, I'm done with first impressions, then, if you want to be, okay. <laughs> treat, man, treat me like James Joseph here, fine. <laughs> My first impression for Tenant, Tenant is one of those dishes that you eat. It's a decadent dish, there's so many layers to it, but you're not tasting the flavor. You're waiting to get to the middle to taste that flavor, to see if the effort that you've put in into eating was worth it. Mm -hmm. And when we finally get to that layer, mm -hmm. It wasn't worth it. it, left a, it in fact, it left a bitter taste in my mouth. Pause. Mm. But that being said, let's start off on what we liked about the film. Adam, I'm coming to you first Oy, again. What I liked about the film, you know, oh boy, there was a few good... Actually, do you know what? Credit where credit's due, I thought Robert Patterson gave a good performance. I enjoyed his character. Okay. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he was good. He was a highlight for me. And there was a few sequences, a few action shots, which I quite enjoyed. Some of the combat was pretty cool, especially considering what they were trying to do you know i do i'm glad this is a spoiler free because i couldn't even spoil it if i wanted to to tell you the truth like that's how mad this film was that's how confused i am with it okay i couldn't even spoil it but yeah i think that's, that, that's what i liked you know i mean me i thought david washington jr and denzel washington shun denzel washington son <laughs> shun <laughs> denzel washington son i thought he he was the protagonist you know mm -hmm. as, as, he, as, so, as so he proclaimed film. and i thought he led well i would like mm -hmm. to see him in another like leading role <sighs> What you're gonna say in a sequel? Are you no, scared me not, there for a moment? Definitely not. Jesus Christ. But what, apart from him, what I will say, it, it was an ambitious script. It was, it was ambitious. It was ambitious. I know. I see what they tried to do. It was a lot of time elements involved, time going forward, time going backwards. But the execution of it, without going into dislikes, Good. Good. 
the execution of it fell flat. Okay. But it was an ambitious script. I, I do applaud it for that. And as you saw the spectacle of it, you know, taking away the the feeling of being back in the cinema for the first time, because you know, whatever film yeah. we see, we're gonna experience that. So taking that away from it, it was a spectacle, because at the same time you have stuff moving at it forward and backwards in time at the same time. So I don't think I've, we've ever seen that. We, we, have, we haven't. And it, and it didn't. Was it, it that did. amazing? Listen, this is my, this is my, I'm just this asking, is my process. I'm just asking you the this question. Is, this is I'm my process. I, I, I didn't like, interrupt I like you when I, you was talking, yeah, so. feel, You know, but I feel like you're having a reach. When, when, when I see you like this, I want to I want to pull you back in, you know, save you, NH. <clears throat> I wanted to, I really wanted to give more because Christopher Nolan is one of my favorite directors. He's I've dope, loved man. the He's majority dope. of his films, but I'm kind of stuck on things. What else I liked about mm. the film? So I won't force it, and therefore yes. we will talk about things that we didn't like. Adam, again, you first on the thank block. Thank you. So I just want to start by saying, yeah, this film's called Tenant. If they made this movie about a guy who was in rent arrears, I think it would have been been better. You know, I've enjoyed it more. I just want to get out of the way. But what I didn't like, I'm going to be real. I ain't going to troll too much. One of the main things, besides the fact that it's confusing as hell, is they were jumping from location to location like anything like i would love to know the time frame from the first scene of the movie to the last scene like what's the time span in that they were going mumbai ukraine uk multiple times like what what the hell yeah what is the time frame the second thing look it's a very confusing film you know there's a lot of time elements in it and whenever time is is being sort of like using a narrative it, it opens that door to be confusing yeah but normally i'm okay with it but on this occasion i weren't sure what they were trying to do I'm really not sure what it It's mad. I, I can't. It's mad. You know, one other thing I didn't like, just one little nitpicky. I felt like being Chris, Christopher Nolan, yeah, there was a few scenes, a few elements that were a little bit Batman esque, but a bit B Tech. Do you think that's similar plot points or do you think that's just his film style in, way, in the way that it's shot? I, I think it's his style. Okay. It's his style. So, so that's one thing. You either love it or hate it. Christopher Nolan's style. But I did get a Dark Knight-ish tone. Oh, yeah. First tone. Like if you, the initial scene inside a theatre, you could take that out. You could take that out yeah. and put that in what, the Dark Knight what, what and it would look I, the exact same What did tone. I say to you? What's that? Do you remember what I said that right at the beginning? I said, right, is that Bane? <laughs> okay, yeah, I see uh, what you uh, mean. Yeah, don't I mean. Ah, yeah, that's you a good point. Saying? But off the previous point that you made, in terms of the film being confusing. Mm. I wholeheartedly would agree with that. And for me, there was a lot of uh, exposition in this film. There was a lot of explaining the plot, a lot of details, a lot of... And I felt that it was too convoluted. That's another good word. That's as an outstanding word. And I was waiting. I was waiting for it to... That penny to drop, but it just never did. And as we said at the beginning of the review, I'm not one of those people that gets confused Easily. That being said, though, this might be a plus point. I definitely want to watch this film again to see if there's anything that I missed. But I think they just they just threw too much at us. They just threw too way, much way at too us. Much. And I feel like in the end, after watching almost three hours, probably three hours of film, I still don't know what the film is about. I, I don't know. I know a rough... I can guess. I know a rough outline, but in terms of the details... <clears throat> Do you know what, yeah? I don't know what it's about. What I could tell you about this film, I could tell what this film's about, and it will sound sick. But then you go to watch it and see what they thought, you're like, wait, that's, that's not what I, okay, that's I, not what I explained. I see your point. Do you know what point. I mean? For me personally, and this is our opinion, so your opinion is that you're entitled to that too, and you can let us know in the comments below. But coming down to the end, it was just like we're watching it for watching it's sake, just mm. to see what unfolds, not really understanding the gravity of the situation. Obviously, we know they're trying to save the world. That's like the generic yeah. thing, but we don't know the details, why, who, when? Okay, what? Okay, how are you doing this? Okay, who is this person? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. where it's, it's, are it's you in the timeline? Or, are you moving backwards or forwards right now? Okay, you did that before. Why is it like this way now? So, that being said, I think we've rambled enough. Yeah, about forward, backwards, that is it's true. Yeah, the film was like trying to do the hokey pokey in terms of like, you know, stick the right foot. No, no, I went left. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to do the gracious thing and kick off your scores of this film? Tenants. Oh, gracious. The first film that we've gracious. seen since the reopening. Oh, yes. of cinemas. Yeah. It's the first time we've been back. I think I've been clear. 
the film confused me. It confused me a lot. I was looking forward to this. I'm let down that I'm finally back in the cinema and I'm coming away and I'm underwhelmed. You know, I'm upset. I'm upset. I don't want to watch it again, but I feel like I need to watch it again. I need to watch it again while I was having YouTube open with explanations and also my phone up with Wikipedia so I can sort of understand what I'm watching. And maybe, maybe then I would like it better and give it a better score. But going off what I've just seen, how I feel now, live in the cinema, is getting a generous... Four out of ten. Ooh, I wasn't expecting. I was really? expecting it to be really? low. I wasn't expecting you that nah, low. I, I, I wasn't expecting. I can't. It. I can't say I enjoyed it because I, I just did not. Un- I did not understand it. I just don't know what they were trying to do. But for me, regardless of what my score is, there's going to be an asterisk next to it. My current score is. But it ain't Liverpool winning the league, you know. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> my current score is based on first viewing, and that's all we can give. I definitely want to watch it again because I think it's interesting, and also Christopher Nolan, as a director, he's given us so much greatness. So he's built up like a cachet, mm, mm, to, mm. And, you know, a chance mm. for me to give it to see mm. if I've missed anything. But my score is going to be purely based on first watch. Let's go. You've already heard all of our likes and dislikes, but my score for Tenant, first film since the reopening of the cinema is a six. Why? A six. Why? Well, six is, is an okay score. It was just okay. It was confusing. But as I said, the script was ambitious. It tried to be, I would say it tried to be, it tried to be too intelligent. Okay. I, I know what you're doing. This is like in um, in the Olympics when they do the diving, you get more points for degree of difficulty. Yes. That's what you're doing. You're giving it a, a bit of kudos because it tried to do something difficult. Yes. Even though they failed. Yes. Okay. Answer, yeah, basically. Answer. Answer. Basically. And as I said, it's an asterisk next to it. That asterisk can go up or down based on second viewing. But in terms of cinema experience, it was a disappointment yeah, in terms of what my expectations were. And of course, a thing that you have to do with film is make it understandable for the audience. I know there's going to be people on the internet that be like, oh, you guys, you must be such a stupid, bro. How do you not, how do you not, know, how do you not know how to go to, how do you not understand this film? Why are you man stupid? No. Tell me what you guys thought of the film, but I think I'm going to stick by my six. Adam has gone at four, so we're going to have the average between the two of us in the center of the screen, but that has been our review. That has been our review, our live at the cinema spoiler-free review for Tenant. Tell us what you thought of the film down in the comments below. I have been your boy, Miles. I've been joined by... Your boy, Adam. And we have been the agents of screen. And until the next movie review, which hopefully will be fucking better than this... It has to be. should have been James Bond, man. That's what it should be. <laughs> we should have been coming to James Bond. Mulan. M- hey, babe. I see you. Wonder Woman. Oh, yes, she is, babe. But yes, we'll be joining you and seeing you very soon. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. <sighs> I can't wait, man. It's going to be something special.